the sky! Close the sky! In Ukraine, hundreds of people in Chicago are voicing their support for Ukraine. They attended a rally on the Magnificent Mile condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine and called for the U.S. to impose a no-fly zone. Several Illinois lawmakers were among the crowd. Let us make certain that this isn't the end of our commitment, but the beginning. Until Putin's troops are driven out of Ukraine, and once again there's peace in that great nation. Many of the protesters carried and waved Ukrainian flags. The Biden administration and NATO have said a no-fly zone is off the table for right now. What is on the table, though, help for 100,000 refugees leaving their war-torn country. And a group of Chicago doctors is on a mission to help some of the most vulnerable. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live in Bensonville to explain. Sabrina? Hey, Dana, at this massive warehouse just outside O'Hare, tons of medical supplies are getting ready to be sent out to Ukraine. This is Umana's second time doing the very same thing. And now another mission to bring over Ukrainian soldiers and wounded children from their war-torn country to right here in the United States to Chicago. Now, organizers tell me for this to happen, they're working with the Ukrainian embassy and other Ukrainian organizations locally, pushing for approval from the Ukrainian government to release release those soldiers and children to give them permission to leave the country for treatment overseas. President Biden announced on Thursday a plan to bring 100,000 Ukrainian asylum seekers to the United States. Here in Chicago, surgeons packaging boxes explained how their hospitals are already committed, willing and able to accept patients from Ukraine to treat them here in our city. We have a connections to the different hospitals. We have a skills how we can treat, how we can help those people. And our effort will be focused on, you know, uh, talking to the hospitals so they can accept those patients. The shipment of these boxes is expected to happen out of O'Hare on Wednesday. As for when these doctors, these hospitals can expect to accept some of those people from Ukraine, that process is expected to take at least a few weeks. We're in Bensonville. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Sabrina.